It is time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament where we are working on two very important things. The first thing, as you can probably tell by my more sonorous voice, is speaking from the diaphragm, not being as screechy so that uh, the sound of my, my voice is more pleasing to the people listening at home. The second thing we are working on is time management. And with regard to this second thing, time management, we're going to be trying to play a little quicker. And by quicker, I don't mean that we're going to take less time on turns, but maybe we're going to spend um, less, we're going to stop, stop less to talk about things. So you're going to experience things probably at the same rate as you did previously, but the game is probably going to jump around a lot more and I'll just have to try to do broader explanations of what's going on in this fascinating drama of Neanderthal. All right, so as I surmised, Cat didn't have a lot to do. Uh, last video I surmised that, and the surmission is coming true. So she's just gonna try to get some tailored clothes. She already has an invention she's waiting to do. She's only gonna be able to keep one of these, I think, unless I'm wrong, I will have to check on that. Um, everyone else is just kind of doing basic stuff, just trying to get rid of those discs and not have too many children. <laughs> it's like babies are a real problem these days. But, you know, if you go into chaos, you get some options, too. So Sid's actually not that worried about that. Um, Danimal got a, a laughing woman. That was our, our bid E. Uh, she d tells jokes, which helps with chaos. Um, costs two white hours. So now let's just go ahead and roll. Let's do some rolling. We only have one point of contention here. The paintress. Um, nope. That was Cat trying to kill the... The immature husband. Immature husband, had he been mature, would have killed Kat there, but was not. So now Kat gets to do her roles. She automatically is successful with this because she has the singing woman. Um, and that brings that back for him. And now she will see if she... She really doesn't care about uh, getting the hit for the baby in the white disc. That's not a big deal for her. But she wouldn't mind having tailored clothes and it gives her something to do. I think she's got 10 cubes there. So we will roll 10 cubes here. And yeah, we definitely got the three of a kind we were looking for. And she's also going to get another baby. Alright, I stopped and looked at the rules about uh, hand size. It's the number of mature elders. So probably at some point these people would have had to lose an elder because people have lost elders and, or I mean, they would have lost elders, so they would have had the loose hand cards, but we're not gonna worry about that. Um, I believe we will worry about, who's next here? Okay, it's gonna be Sid. She has seven going. She's got a good chance of getting what she wants here. Seven, okay. Going for the red deer. And she is successful at getting rid of that white disc on her cobbler woman, so now the cobbler woman is engaged. Unfortunately, or possibly for fortunately, depending on how you feel about chaos, she's going to get three more babies and that's going to put her over the limit, I'm pretty sure. Now we're going to go ahead and roll for the animal, and let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten. So ten, that's handy, that's how many dice we have, and that doesn't look like it's working out for him. What he was hoping to do, I think he had to get three hits and he only got two hits. He was hoping he would decrease his population and then get some population because the bear gives you four babies. That didn't happen. He is going to get rid of this guest worker though. One, how many, how many kills is that? That's, gosh, that's a lot. So he lost six cubes. I don't know, why do I keep calling them cubes? They're uh, hunters. Now he's down to five hunters. Okay, so here we had an elder die off for Sid. Um, that elder is going to go away, and so she's also going to have to lose this card because it's e equal to the number of mature elders. Rough for her. She didn't get the chaos she was maybe looking for either. The animal takes our our, our daughter again. He's got he he had a lot of discs left over since he just lost a bunch of population, so that allowed him to outbid Sid. She's really feeling frozen out here because you're seeing this dynamic where. Um, the animal's starting to get all the cards, which presumably Kaz is going to get to marry. And so Sid is just kind of left out. She's not able to do anything. Though if she goes into chaos, her current plan right now is to get out of promiscuity and get these discs back and then maybe be able to expand. She feels like it hasn't been working out. But in the meantime, she's going to try to get some more um, guest workers, guest hunters in the animal and Kaz grouping. Um, the animal's being a little risky with his 
his rolling here. He's just trying to get rid of get get as many discs gone as possible, um, so he can start adding portals to his brain. He's going to probably do that anyway, but um, his probabilities aren't very good. Sid is hopefully going to get her mature elder, and then maybe get this into her hand so she has a card that she can develop later on. And then, oh, I didn't pick what Kaz going to do. Um, what does she want to do? Okay, we're going to see some fighting. It's very exciting. Um, Kat could have gone over here, but she went here just to kind of kick the animal a little bit. Would, oh, I should explain. She's going for a white disc. Um, she, she, get, she can get them in either place. It's actually easier for her to get it here. And if she does um, get hurt a little bit by Daniel, that's fine, because she doesn't want to have too many babies. She'd like to start using her vocabulary as portals. And that's, that's trickier to do when you're trying not to go into chaos. Unlike Sid, Cad does not want to go into chaos. So we're going to see some fighting. Then we're going to see some fighting with all these jealous husbands against um, these suitors. That's going to probably actually be counterproductive to Sid. But Sid wants to get these cubes out. She wants to use promiscuity. She's kind of torn between two strategies is what she is, and that sometimes doesn't work out, but sometimes it can. you can find your way. So, let's see. I think our, our man, the Danimal, gets to attack first. They have equal number of black discs, but he is the first player this turn, so he'll go first. And that's two, all three misses. We'll go ahead and finish resolving that battle and then go in for um, Kaz and Cat versus Sid. Okay, so what are we seeing here? What are we seeing here? We're seeing nothing. So no one hurts anybody there. Kaz and Cat versus Sid. Weather Whisperer. Singing Woman. Oh, that's a, that's a kill. Let's just put them right here for now. Vigilant Woman. Paintress. Okay. So not a lot of bloodshed. That's that's okay. We're okay with that, aren't we? All right. Exciting battle. Now let's do some exciting hunting and whatnot. Um, so luckily for the animal, he gets to go first. So if his gamble pays off, he's going to get these things, and all of Kaz's cubes are going to go home empty-handed, which is bad for him. His gamble did not pay off, so his cubes are going to go home empty-handed. Um, hopefully he does better at the Arctic Flounder. Remember that poor bullied flounder from before? Oh, he did do better. He got exactly what he needed. Oh, I don't, I'm sorry. Uh, and... Baton. I guess we'll go ahead and finish her rolling with... Um, this is Sid at the Flint Mine. Very important roll. She did get her flint mine. She did not get the three of a kind she would have required if she would have been needed. Um, so now she's got an elder back, so she can now get a, a technology card again or a domestic card in her hand. She has a hand size, which is nice for her. All right, and finally, we'll go with, do we have, see, it's just the same as before. I just kind of do longer, more plain before I let you watch me roll dice. All right. Red deer. The hunt for the red deer. All right, it's successful. And there's no like three of a kind thing for the red deer. So she just gets that back. She gets a way too many kids, but also gets to blank a bonk that down. And now she has a trapper. So she has a hand size of two and she can um, put this card down, I think. I think this is something you can put down if you have a trapper. She can have tailored clothes and then maybe she might look for fishing wire. And she's also assured success, um, at least one success against any of the small games like the Alpi Alpine Ibex. She could get very easily. Cat, as in cat, has a very difficult choice to make. It's a choice between possible stagnancy and change that could be either positive or negative. She is on the cusp of chaos with her, her unmarried, unold hunters here being equal to her vocal discs. She would kind of like, she'd really like to put one of those vocal discs on here and get, get close to being tribal, but um, she, she does, uh, she's got another option. So I think if she didn't have another option, she might definitely do that, but Kat, she likes to play it kind of safe sometimes. Um, so she's gonna get some tailored clothes, and that's really fun. 
So now, uh, as she gets more elders, the three, four, five elders will be immune to the elder diaphragm because they have clothes that fit them well, so they're able to be like more spry and deal with things that way. All right, I think we're gonna end it mercifully short. Um, I, I'm gonna have to stop now, and I don't know when I'll get to do it again, so I'd rather break at the end of a video. And there's nothing that says a video has to be like 30 minutes, right? In fact, I think it's probably better if it's not 30 minutes. I just don't think about the time too much. But now that I, they keep ending up being around 20 to 30 minutes, I feel like I should say a few words and maybe drag it out a little bit. Um, since this is, I think, less. So maybe I'll be surprised. Maybe this will be 20 or 30 minutes. Who knows? Um, but we'll see you next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament Neanderthal.